Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support. And in this video, we're going to go over how to program zones on your Firelick system using the web-based programming. There are three types of zones that the Firelink system can handle. Conventional, SLC, and wireless. The panel comes with the FIM module, eight conventional zones already pre-programmed for your basic sprinkler system. However, the panel can be expanded using uh, conventional zones with an EZM8, a GEMC EZM8, um, SLC, or wireless. We're going to go over those three different zone types. If you're going to be using SLC expansion, we're going to start by going to the RF receiver slash SLC, and we're going to add in for address 1, SLC fire. It can also be done class A if you need it. Then we would go back to our zone assignment section. And this is where we can start programming the zones. First, and this applies to all of the different kinds of zones. We're going to pick the zone type. We're going to make this a fire zone. Advanced code of fire, that's a general fire, but we also have full station, ducts, um, different water flow supervisory for those type of zones. And then we're going to have to put in the RFSLC point address. So we click on that and um, the screen will come up. So we're going to pick fire SLC, the device type, we're going to make this a smoke, the receiver or SLC address, which is our SLC card, which we made number one. The device address, this is going to be the actual physical address that was programmed into the detector or the module. Um, you can have up to 126 addressable devices on an SLC card. The FireLink only takes 32 zones. And remember, we can map any SLC address to any zone. So like we're programming zone 9, but if this is my first smoke detector, um, we can make it address 1. The device point on this is going to be 1, the parameter, and then we can click OK. And now the zone was programmed uh, with the SLC point. Now we can go over to the output section, and this is where we can pick what NAC or NACs, NAC A and D, or an external fire output that we want on the zone. And if we were using, um, we're going to click Enabled, <coughs> so the zone is in the system. And if we were doing coded, that's where you would pick that. And we can also give it a description. And then we would continue on uh, with as many SLC zones as we had using the same programming method. When we're done, we click Save. Now to go over um, RF zones, we can add wireless receivers to the system. And because we already have a SLC fire, we're going to make address to our RF fire. Now to remember, these need to be in order. So if you didn't have SLC and you were just doing wireless, that would be on address one. <clears throat> And same thing, we will go back to our zone assignment section. We would make this a, we'll make this a supervisory zone. Uh, we'll pick the advanced code of fire supervision, so it reports that. Same principle, we would click on this, and this is where we would type in the RFID of the smoke detector, or the heat detector, or the WL WD2 module. And same thing, we would pick our NACs. If we had any outputs, um, we were going to have none because this is a supervisory type zone. And click Enabled. And then Save. The last type of zone we can add would be non-power conventional on an easy M8. Uh, Two-wire smoke detectors are only going to work on your conventional zones on 1 through 8 on the FIM board that's on the... Um, comes with the kit on the motherboard. But we can use EZM8s, GEMC EZM8s for um, non-powered fire devices like water flow, gate valves, you know, pull stations, mechanical heat detectors, any kind of other auxiliary monitoring like a fire pump, 
for pump run or pump fail. Um, if you had a generator, any type of Ansel system, any type of um, those applications. Where we click on EZM assignment, and the thing to remember with EZMs, they need they come in banks of four, so they need to be in order. So because we already put some RF and SLC on zones nine and ten, we're going to have to put our first EZM on addresses. Um, two and three because they take up two addresses on an eight zone expander so we would pick eight zone fire and that would automatically populate EZMs two and three for zones 13 through 20. Then we would go back to our zone assignment section and we would start now um, on zone 13 because that's our first EZM zone and be the same thing you could make it a water flow it's an EZM, so it's not going to have an RFSLC point, and you would just pick the NACs that you wanted to sound off. And then click Save. Again, same thing, Zone Description. And we could do the same for zone 14. We could make that a CO alarm and pick any outputs if we wanted, if we didn't have any. On the EZM 8, and you go back to make it a supervisory with no outputs. and then click save and then once all the changes are done you would have to enable programming on your keypad um, and get your E28 up and then you could come and do a download to the system now just to review we went over how to program SLC wireless and conventional zone types to your Firelink system on the Firelink programming website and as always, for more information, you can visit us on the web at tech.napgosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching today.